Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what is a niche website and should you build one? Okay, so let's get started, guys. So right here we have angulabeaches.com. This right here is a niche website. Okay, now before we will move forward to angulabeaches.com, I want to give you guys a pretty simple definition of what is a niche website. A niche website is literally a website that is geared towards one specific audience okay not trying to do a whole bunch of different things just one single thing okay for example let's say you have a website about web developers okay you're not going to talk about tutorials you're not going to talk about uh you know the type of uh boot camps that they have the type of uh you know keyboards that you use the type of mouses that you might use right you're not going to talk about all of those things you're going to choose one of them Okay, so for example, if you're going to be uh, a niche website for web developers and you want to talk about keyboards, then all you do is talk about keyboards. If you want to talk about mouses, you talk all about mouses. If you want to talk about, let's say, uh, boot camps, then you create a website that only talks about boot camps, etc. Right? So I'm just giving you guys an example. So right here, this is a website called anguilabeaches.com where this person, all they talk about is Anguilla right all the beaches are there all of the restaurants that are there all of the hotels are there right different shops different things that you can do activities and that's it okay so they don't talk about what's going on in barbados they don't talk about what's going on in the dominican republic they don't talk about all of the other islands that are in the atlantic all they talk about is anguilla that's it period okay so that's a niche website now once again let's go over this website this website is not even responsive. I know some of you guys are probably pulling your hairs right now. You're like, oh my God, this website is not responsive. Yeah, but they still make money. Okay. And the reason why they make money is because they are serving a specific audience and that audience doesn't care about that. What they care about is, does this person have really good content that is beneficial to me? okay they might even have uh youtube videos okay so everything is just connected to angela beaches all right and the way how this person makes money is by actually having you come through right coming through angela right and then because you give people this card which gives them you know 10 percent off on anything that you might do you might get in a hotel a villa whatever this person gets paid every time that you come through with this card okay now they can also get paid by creating a book or they might get paid by having a direct connection to the hotels so when that person links to that hotel and you book it right they get a 10 percent of whatever uh you bought so if you say hey i want to stay there for a week or I want to stay there for two two weeks, right? It might be a thousand, two thousand dollars, whatever it might be, right? That person is getting ten percent of that, which could be ten dollars, uh, ten not ten dollars, a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, etc. Now you might think, well, how many people are traveling to Anguilla or Anguilla Beach, right? A lot of people are traveling there. Okay, so this person every time that somebody searches for this and they go through this website and they book something, they get paid. So let's say this person is living in Anguilla, right? This person could live for free in Anguilla now because now every time that somebody books something, they get paid for it, all right? So this is one type of website. Now, another type of website, you might see something like this, electronics, right? Where somebody might just focus on one single thing. Now, I know we can say, hey man, this is a little bit broad because it is broad, but it's a very good example because it shows you how these people make money. So for example, they have ratings for televisions, headphones, and monitors, okay? So what they do is they buy freaking computers or they buy uh, monitors, they buy TVs, they buy headphones, right? And sometimes they don't even have to buy. Companies send it to them so they could, you know, review it. And then, like let's say for example, you come here and you say, best tvs okay show me the best tvs of 2019 then you'll see that they have reviews for this tvs this is the one that i have lg b8 pretty cool i love that tv definitely recommend it for you guys um but yeah so as you can see this tv they actually reviewed it all right now some tvs like this one like the samsung q80 q80r they haven't even reviewed it but they still have it here now 
Some of you guys might think, well, how can they have you know, a website that is all about ratings? How can they have a, a, a product that they haven't even reviewed? Well, remember, other people review it. You could literally go to YouTube, watch somebody's review, and then write down a few paragraphs about what that person said about that product, and you already have an idea what it is. So then now they come here and they post it on their website. Now, the way how they make their money is through Amazon. So when somebody comes here and, and looks at this and says, oh, this is a great TV, I'm gonna buy this. So they click on LGB8, see prices, automatically if you look at the URL, you see it says tag Ardings TV, which is the tag of the affiliate, okay? So now they just tag me. Anything that I buy for the next few days, they get a certain percentage. So it could be from 3% to 10%. So imagine this, this is, 1189 so this person right here this artings website can get automatically 1189 times 0 0.03 35 dollars every time that somebody buys a tv okay remember this tv is the number one tv that they have there okay so is people's gonna buy it right so it's top selling so they know people are gonna buy it regardless and as you can see it says amazon's choice people are gonna buy it anyways and anybody that's looking for tv reviews that means they're ready to buy they're not there to just well i'm just looking at tvs to see how they look now people that's looking for tvs they're looking to buy something so now these people just get paid 35 dollars every single time and that's on the low end right on the high end we can say 11 89 times 0.1 which is 10 percent they get paid 118 dollars on the high end and that's what i think that they probably get because artings.com is a very popular website so every single time that somebody buys uh a thousand dollar tv they make a hundred thousand um a hundred thousand a hundred dollars per sale so that's great right now the next one that we have here is babygearlab.com this is another niche website they're super popular okay what do they do here they only talk about things for babies okay this is a niche website they make money the same way how artings does right through amazon through advertising okay and as you can see here all of this once you click on 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 the product right and as you can see here it's telling you hey man on amazon you get 23 percent off buy it from amazon right so that's what they really want you to do to buy it from amazon if i click here boom i'm tagged that's it <laughs> so now anything that i buy from them they freaking get a pay you know they get a cut out of that right and not only that but if i buy anything in the next seven days they also get paid out of that do you understand that so if tomorrow i say you know what i want to buy a new computer that cost me uh three thousand dollars brand new macbook pro they get paid from that they get three hundred dollars off that just because they tagged me four days ago okay so this is niche websites guys i hope you guys are understanding the magic of this and, and the power of it okay now we have more technical type websites right this is where you guys as developers yeah i might say man you know what i would love to build a website like this right and it's something that could display my technical skills i could probably create something super cool here you go this is a website called mobilytics.gg okay there's a website that connects to the api of mobile legends or was it not mobile legends of different uh, uh companies or let's say games right so like let's say if you wanted to check out league of legends right so here it says lol.mobilytics.gg so i can come here and search for uh let's say an old name that i used to have in in uh in league of legends so i could come here and say darth blake right Currently, right now, they don't have anything. But all of this here, right, it will give you, like, different stats of all of the different, different type of things, right? Now, what's cool about this is that a website like this can make money from advertising. A website like this can also make money from uh, Amazon, where they can link to products. Like, this, are a million products that you can sell for, uh, you know, mobile or mobile uh, players, right? So, for example, if I go to Amazon, I go to Amazon.com. And I come here and I say something like this, League of Legends, okay? I can I can come here and sell this, sell this gift card. Or I can come here and sell, 
let's say for example a keyboard that is great for for those type of gamers we could come here and sell this uh little action figure right there's a little action figure here right little things like this this is something that the nerds is gonna like okay they love to put that in like in a corner on top of the shelf or something like that so while they're on mobilelytics.com right mobilelytics.com you can resell them this little items and you get paid from that right and small items that cost twenty dollars so people are gonna buy it Right? They're going to buy it just because, of, oh, you know, I love the game. I love a T-shirt, whatever it is. This could be a mouse pad, right? You could sell that. Uh, you could sell this type of keyboard. So as you guys can see, the sky's the limit, kids. All right? <laughs> Let's not waste too much time, okay? Now, this is a CSS generator, okay? Now, I have a lot of experience with CSS generators because I have one that's very popular that, you know, thousands and thousands of developers use per day, okay? Some of you guys probably have used it before and you don't even know that I own it, okay? But I make money from the advertising. Now, this is a service. This is a very simple service, a very simple niche website that any one of you guys can actually create something like this. A CSS generator or a tax calculator or mortgage calculator, etc. Like you could literally come up with a million different things that you can build. Okay. So as you can see, there's a CSS generator. Very simple. You just come here, uh, create this thing, right? Show it to the person and then create the code, right? From here, you could put some advertising here, right? This person, whoever it is, CSS Matic, they don't know what they're doing because they could be making a lot of money. What they're doing is they, I think they're trying to promote their other stuff, which is designed and developed by free picks and Tumblr it the it etc so i guess they make money from this thing and this is what they want to promote me personally what i would do is just straight up you know mess with the ads that's where the real money is at okay so there you go guys now the question is should you make a niche website in 2019 yes you know why because it's like easy money right it's like you do the work once a website like this can take you maybe a week or two you create it you put it online you share it on some social media and that's it you start getting traffic the next thing you know you're getting you know forty dollars fifty dollars right as google keeps on ranking it up and more people keep traveling to it you can make a thousand dollars from this website alone per month okay so it's easy enough for you to do and at the same time profitable enough for you to get into it okay now it's up to you if you want to do this or not but if you do guys definitely take the niche website course that is on codingphase.com now this course is also part of a bundle that i'm calling the six figures developer right where i teach you guys how to make passive income as a web developer okay yes you know how to code yes you can get a job right but wouldn't it be nice that if you're gonna get like fifty thousand on your first job 50 to 70k on your first job that you also make another 30 to 50k on the side so you can actually generate income while you are a developer or while you're still a developer and you're learning at home okay so this is the best way to do it guys this is how you're going to be able to become a six-figure developer as soon as possible is by getting your job and also making your side income all right take advantage on the description below i'm going to leave you a couple of different links so you can take advantage all right if you want to sign up to the yearly plus it gives you access to all of my courses and all of the bundles some of you guys might say i don't want all of the programming courses i already know how to code that's great okay so just buy the bundle it's up to you okay and if not if you just don't care about the bundles just sign up for the monthly or something like that right everything's right there in the description it's up to you okay so let's get started i'm super excited to start this course and yeah let's get it i'm gonna show you guys how i made my money all over this internet okay and how i did this all these years all right let's get it